Hi everybody, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today, another exciting mail order plant day. This is from David Austin. David Austin Rose coming at you. So let's do an unboxing of this new rose. I've been looking for this particular rose, this one variety, since last March. The specific rose that I want is called Sweet Juliet. It's an English shrub rose. Uh, it has apricot colored flowers with a large petal count, at least it's large to me, 70 petals. It was introduced in 1989. It's a medium sized shrub rose. It gets to be about four feet tall, three feet wide, and it is repeat flowering, and it's hardy in zones five through 11. And the reason I wanted this particular rose, this one, is because of the name of it. It's very special to me for someone in my family. And so I have been looking for it, and I'm so glad that I have one now. Last year when I went looking for it, uh, David Austin they do breed the rose, but they didn't have any in stock last year. So I put my name on the waiting list and I got the notice over the winter that they were going to have some in stock for me. And I just received my sweet Juliet rose. So let's take a look at how it is coming at me. This is bare root and it's wrapped in plastic. Truth in advertising, I did already open this just to make sure everything was good when it arrived in a plastic bag and it is a really large root look at that holy moly that's a fantastic bare root plant lots and lots of roots and a beautiful set of shoots coming up from the crown this is going to be a gorgeous rose i cannot wait to have this in my garden Unfortunately, right now outside, it is below freezing. It has been since yesterday and it will be tomorrow again. Of course, tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday, we're supposed to get up to the 70 degree mark. Who knows what's happening with spring weather? But I can't put this in the ground just yet. The ground actually is frozen on the top layer right now. Um, and I can't leave it in this plastic bag. Otherwise, this moist uh, root system will get moldy and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to put this into a pot of soil just until I can find my place that I want to plant it for real. So I thought I'd bring you along with me as I do that process. So let me just get myself set up here. I don't have my apron and I'm wearing a white shirt, so that doesn't bode well for me, but we're just going to deal with it. My apron is... I don't know where it is right now, actually. Okay, so I'm going to be using potting soil, and I think this container is going to be big enough. I think, what is this, 10, 15 gallon? Does it say? I don't know. It's big, so I'm hoping that it'll hold all that root ball without constricting anything. I'm going to need a lot of soil for this. And I think I do want to pre-moisten the soil because... You know how hard it is to get water into potting soil that has been dry all winter. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that project here and get a bunch of potting soil wet. I'm put all this in here. I'm not going to be too picky with what soil I'm using. Again, this is not going to be a container rose for the long term. I'm just putting it in this container for the short time between now and when I have its real spot in a landscape prepared, which I don't exactly know where it's going yet. So I'm still a ways off from that. So this rose is going to probably break dormancy in this container and grow for a little while in this container. Some water. I may have mentioned before in one of my videos, I like to use lukewarm or even just a little bit more than lukewarm water to moisten my soil. One, it feels nicer on my hands, but two, I think that the peat-based or coconut core based products, whichever you're using, um, I think it soaks in them faster if you use warm water. Okay. All right, that's a pretty good start. I'm gonna put this soil in the bottom of my pot here big pot, small amount here. 
Why am I wearing a white shirt, we ask? Well, because I don't plan ahead. All right, well, that just barely covered the bottom three inches of this pot. Now, I'm going to form a pyramid shape with this soil in this pot um, because the roots of the rows are shaped like a, a pyramid going down. See how the center of the root ball is here and then the roots all come down and out from that. So I'm actually going to make my soil in there the same shape as that, a little mountain of soil. Let's see if I can pull the camera closer. All right, this might be difficult for you to see, but I've got the soil in a little pyramid shape down in there and I'm gonna try to fit all these roots in this container. Oh, it's not even close to enough soil down in there. All right, more soil. All right, let's try this again. Make my little mountain top in there. See that? Now I'll try to put these roots in there. closer and now if I get soil um, to put across the top I think I will have been successful. All right, now I'm bringing this soil up to right where the roots begin. I'm leaving this stem above the soil line. And I've seen it go both ways. I've seen people recommend that you cover with soil up to here. And I've seen people say cover with soil just up to here. So I'm just gonna do this for today. And I'm gonna call that good. Now I am gonna water this in. Try to get some of that soil off of the stem there. All right, what I want is for the soil to settle around the roots so that all the roots are tucked in nicely into the soil with no air pockets. And I'm gonna leave it on this tidy tray in case I overwater and it wants to leak out. All right, I think that'll be good. Okay, how did I do? Oh, yeah, a little dirty. Okay, let me address what kind of soil I'm using. This is potting soil, um, and it is miracle Grow brand. It does have miracle Grow brand of uh, fertilizer in here. Now, I've said before that I usually try to avoid miracle Grow brand um, products. However, I don't have any hard and fast rules. This was what was available to me. All of the other potting soils that I... Uh, could have gotten that day were a lot more expensive and uh, had fewer available bags. And so I got this. I try to stay away from miracle Grow because I'm not sure what I think about their parent company, Monsanto. Um, you can read all kinds of things that are against Monsanto, and then you read other people who aren't so hard set against that company. I don't have a strong opinion. You might have a strong opinion, and I just wanted to explain why I'm using it. I try not to. I try to use organic products. I try to use um, other smaller companies that don't have the reputation that Monsanto does for uh, agricultural-related um, environmental issues. You know, I'm just not hard and fast on any of those rules. Also, I'm not strong for or against peat, for or against coconut core. I just... I'm reading a lot. I'm learning a lot. I see pros and cons in both directions. I don't think there's any great answer on any of it. So I just try to, I try to make decisions about my purchasing that, um, one, it has to be good for me, but also two, if I can make some, a smart choice for the earth, I'll try to do that. Anyway, that's how I feel about it right now. We have sweet Juliet 
now in a pot here. I'm not going to add any other fertilizer onto her right now. There is fertilizer in the potting soil. If it goes more than a month before I get it into the ground, then I will put some rose food onto here, but I'm hoping to get it into the ground in the next month. So I think this is a short term situation for it. Okay, and I'm going to just set this down here on the ground in my basement. It stays right around 65 degrees here. And if I set it down at the bottom by the plant shelves, then it'll receive some light from that uh, for 16 hours a day. It has already started to break dormancy. I can see little buds starting to come out, so that's good. And But as soon as our weather warms up beyond this freezing spell that we've had this yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I'll probably put this container outside probably on the driveway near the garage so that on a, another frigid night I can pull it into the garage real quick but have it back outside in the normal weather um, for it to break its dormancy and begin acclimating to its new environment. So I'm looking forward to having Sweet Juliet in our garden in this coming season. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do you have any bare root roses coming to your house? If so, how are you dealing with them if it's not yet planting time? I'd love to hear from you. Um, and also, I'd love to hear what you're planting as far as new roses. Do you have anything in particular? How did you choose them? Um, do you have any sort of namesake plants going on in your garden this year? Anything. I don't know. Whatever you want to chat about, let's put it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that you're able to get out into your garden sometime soon, if not today. And I hope I'll see you in another video real soon, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.